What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And as you probably guessed it, yes, this is the next chapter of the 2022 Metal Print uh, Shootout. And friends, uh, let me get you up to speed. If this is your first video or this is your first shootout that you've watched on our channel, let me get you up to speed as far as what we're going to be doing here. So this is going to be, I'm quite confident it's going to be much different than some of the other uh, reviews that you've seen online. Reason being is because I'm going to crack this sucker open right here in front of you. I'm going to share with you what I like, what I don't like, from the packaging down to the color, the frame, literally A to Z with this. So therefore, heck, if you decide to go out and uh, pick yourself up a print from... Well, it's kind of hard to miss who this is from. Bay Photo. <laughs> you know exactly what your dollar is going to get you. And as I've said many times over and over again, this is the fourth year that we've been doing these sort of shootouts. And technically, they started with uh, doing on canvas prints, and then we shuffled over to doing metal prints. And actually, next year is the big year, is the big year. we're going to be including or having a acrylic uh, uh, print uh, shootout. I had a I had to think about where I was going to go with that. So, but, and then one of the reasons that we started doing these is over the years, we've seen photographers just like you going out there and you go to Google and type in best metal print or best canvas print or whatever the hell it may be. And you come across a website that is putting a list together, showing you what they say are the best prints out there. And you can see evidence of this right now. Go to Google and type in best canvas prints, best metal prints. You'll see websites out there that are, will give you a list format and claims you know, ABC company has, is the best out there. But when you look carefully, you'll notice that the images that they're using are images being pulled from the printer's website itself. So they've never even touched a print. And that is unfair for you. And also kind of, it, over the years, we've seen, we've heard a lot of horror stories from photographers. And so you kind of start wondering, okay, how are all these things taking place or what's happening with that? And then you find out that they bought it off of a list or off of a website that said, hey, this is the best print and they get it and it turns out to be a turd and now they're scratching their head. So this is our answer to that. And so this is how we basically put a more informative review in front of you folks. And so again, I'm gonna crack this open. You may agree with me, you may not, but again, at the end of the day, as I said a moment ago, if you decide to go out there and do business with Bay Photo or whoever it is that we are reviewing, you have a good idea of what to expect. That said, uh, before we dive into this here, look, we put these videos together to help you guys get out there, make educated decisions and, and pick it up prints. You find some value, sure would appreciate because there's, you know, there's a lot of time that goes into putting these videos together. Um, and so I'm actually ordering prints, you know, from all these companies here. So sure would appreciate if you find some value with this. If we help you get a better print for your money, sure would appreciate you hitting that like button down below. That said, let's crack this sucker open. Now, as a moment ago, we already identified this is from Bay Photo. Bay Photo is, I believe they are still up in Northern California or someplace around there. I don't know. Oh, actually, I should say right here. Scotts Valley, California. I knew they were in California someplace. But let's crack this sucker open. So the box outside, ooh, that is close. I almost dropped that. And I'm not wearing any shoes right now, so that could have gone bad. Uh, one thing I've noticed here with their packaging, unlike some of the other companies, they actually identify fragile, you know, photo do not bend. And that, I think, definitely is a nice plus for the reason that we in prior videos, you hear me talking about the importance of how these pack, how these things are packaged together. From the uh, from where they're coming from, these things are being drop kicked from whoever's shipping the package. So whether it be FedEx, UPS, DHL, whoever. So these boxes potentially can get abused. You guys have seen in prior shows, I've had boxes with shoe marks on them. I've seen where they're bashed in, where they just really look like a Trojan army walked over it. So packaging is really important. So it's nice, you know, fragile. Um, and this, I can already tell, this is quite a interesting box. So we see these little tabs right here. And so it's actually folding right in there. So it's kind of like this French door opening here. This is actually pretty slick. Oh, very interesting. Okay, we'll get to the print here momentarily. So you can see that's pressed up against this paper here, which is going to protect that. The box is, I mean, it's 
I, I really I really like the construction of it, but it is it's it's kind of cheap for cardboard. It's definitely not as thick as some of the boxes that I've seen, but it is regardless a nice box. This, hands down, I absolutely love when companies take the time and package like this. Uh, where they have the print recess right in the center. And the reason being here is these sides right here give it a little bit of an impact buffer in case somebody drop kicks it from the side. That's gonna protect it on all the edges, but also by taping it like this or having it where the print is on the inside like this, as it's shimming around and so forth, the print is secure on here. In this particular case, they are using, okay, so it's in a bag. It's, okay, so this thing's in a bag and they just taped it to this piece of cardboard. Remove tape carefully, damage may occur. Okay, scissor or blade recommended. Well, got a blade. Um, so anyways, this packaging is really fantastic. So let's, uh, let's carefully, as this yellow sign suggests, Okay. Okay, I'm going to Yeah, they did a solid job with this. Now after this, I'm gonna run down and go get some apple cider. I'm gonna be making a brine for the turkey tomorrow. And a friend gave me the, the tip on using apple cider, which I've never done it before. Then I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours, and then I'm gonna stick it in the smoker, and boom. Okay, piece of cardboard, bam. All right, so as we can see, the print itself is in a, actually, it seems like a rather heavy duty plastic bag. Some of the companies, We'll ship it out, or we'll, well, I'm sorry, they'll wrap it in a in a bag, but the plastic is just so darn flimsy. And again, every bit of protection helps. Okay, and this is definitely a, a pretty decent quality plastic bag that they've stuffed this in. And they really, oh, I see what they've done. Okay, I can manage not to cut myself here. And boom, so yeah, decent quality bag. Okay, so care and handling of metal prints. Handle metal prints carefully to avoid bending, denting, or crushing the metal. Keep away from direct sunlight. I see people asking about that quite often. Uh, surface can be cleaned using a soft cloth with a non-ammonia base window cleaner or water, in case you wanted to know, but they had that in here. All righty. So this actually has a nice weight to it. I can see why on the back, which we'll circle around, around to that here momentarily. Um, okay, so as I've mentioned in some of the prior videos, this is not an image. This is not one of my images. This is an image that I licensed and there's specific reasons for doing so here. I like the colors of it. I had this big, this big uh, solid blue down on the bottom and I wanted this specifically for if a company has kind of a poor ink quality or printers are jacked up or they're not calibrated, you can get some wonkiness, some banding and large solid colors. And then you had all these water droplets and so forth that I was, I saw, I visualized seeing that as a gauge of sharpness. And then you have these vibrant colors as well. And so, and that's exactly what I'm looking at first right now is colors. And the colors look actually pretty the colors look pretty good the colors look actually really good it seems there's a little bit of noise in this though the colors i really like there's just a the the noise is throwing me off a little bit here um okay and one of the things one of the prints a couple years ago that I tested, um, the edges on the metal print 
were so darn sharp and raggedy. Uh, literally, by just doing this here, you, you risk, I mean, this is, I mean, it's still a metal edge. But these were so darn sharp and raggedy and so forth, you could, you could cut your finger on. So I make it a point to run my fingers on that. Um, this is actually pretty stinking cool. In terms of frame, you have a lot of options. I like that they have that there. Now, obviously, it's designed to go up in the top here, but you have, if you wanted to, I guess you could technically hang it upside down. Um, but this is the first metal frame that I've seen, and that actually adds to that, that heftiness that this print has. Uh, one of the things I like right off the get-go here, not to jump off the frame subject for a moment, uh, you have these little rubber knobs here, which are really nice. So when you're hanging this up against a wall, or in this particular case, that keeps it off the wall, and especially when you have these metal, it keeps that sharp, semi-sharp edge uh, from touching the wall itself, and just gives a little, a little lift there. But see what I'm talking about? This is a full... It's a full metal frame. That's really nice. I like that. Now, is it a bit overkill? Yeah, you know, some might say it, it is. Do you really need that much metal? Especially metal is, uh, over the last two or three years, metal prices, steel prices have gone up. So I'm almost curious if they have increased their pricing uh, over the last few years as a result of uh, metal prices going up. Now let's see if this is four and a half, four and a half. Okay, so, so far, this thing is dead accurate. One and a half, one and a half down, two inches on the side, four and a half inches on the bottom. This thing is dead center, or I'm sorry, it's plum rather. It's obviously the dimensions are a little bit off from one another, which is perfectly fine. You have a little bit of uh, which, you know, is very minor, but again, I'm pointing out everything. I leave no stone left unturned. You have a bit of the plastic uh, that is still sticking to the metal uh, from, I'm guessing, that was protected, the protective coat of this here as they are handling it and putting it together. It looks semi sloppy, but that is extremely minor. So I'm interesting. So I'm guessing they have that just stuck on with a, with a three, like a double sided tape there. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at the scorecard for Bay Photo. All right, friends, and there you go, the 2022 Bay Photo Metal Print Review. These guys did a pretty good job. Uh, for like me, I can't recall how they did last time, but with the exception of a little bit of noise that's kind of popping off and throwing things off a little bit, the colors look fantastic. Uh, the frame, absolutely digging the frame here. Again, it's a little overkill, but uh, hey, I'd rather... Uh, one of the importance of... Because I've had many people say, well, Alex, what difference does it have in, you know, does the frame matter? Well, I'll tell you why. Especially if you're a professional photographer where you may be drop shipping a print directly out to a company, or I'm sorry, out to an individual and so forth. When somebody's opening this up, that curb appeal, that first impression that they get is that, uh, what I wanted to say, is that curb appeal. That acts as an extension of who you are as a professional. So if it looks cheap, if it presents itself cheap, that kind of that, that kind of cuts your needs there in the eyes of the uh, of the the client there. This right here looks fantastic, and so this really looks. You know, it's funny. I, I've used this analogy before. You know, being a car person, there's a big difference between opening up a door on a Bentley versus a Honda. Not saying right, wrong. You know, which one is better, but I'm just saying there's a difference in quality. This right here, because of the weight here, it just feels like a quality print. Um, and they did, again, they did a good job with that. So again, if this is your first time watching one of these videos, um, 
we have, I think we have a couple more prints left in the season that we're going to be reviewing. But if you want to take a look or scroll down below to the description, you'll be able to take a look at some of the other prints that we've reviewed so far as the time of this video. Or actually, come to think of it, as we're adding more, we're updating all the descriptions in all the videos as well. And depending upon when you're watching this video, we might have already crowned the winner of 2022. If that being the case, that link will be down below as well. So again, one of the reasons why we, we break this up into smaller videos versus uh, when we first started doing these, we put all the reviews in one big, by <laughs> one big video. And it started to turn out like an hour and a half, two hour long video. Uh, and that's just way too long. So we break these up into single videos. That's why it's you know 12, 15 minutes. It's much more manageable bite size for you to be able to kind of slip that video in here and there. But anyway, friends, uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in. I uh, hope we were of uh, some value to you. Hope you uh, and perhaps answer some questions if you are on the fence about uh, possibly ordering a print from or metal print from Bay Photo. Now it's that time of the video where friends, I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff because well, we really appreciate it and it does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, if you haven't hit the like button already, please consider doing that. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? We would love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, consider hitting that uh, that bell. So therefore, every time that we come out of the video, just like the one that you just watched here, YouTube is gonna notify you. And I forgot to mention that uh, the other paperwork in here was just all the paperwork for this itself. But anyway, friends, uh, always an honor to have you guys here. Appreciate you guys tuning in and look forward to seeing you during the next video. That said, I'm gonna be shutting off the camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your bed.